Hi, my name is Tristy and welcome to day 24 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. Today, I want to introduce you to directives. Directives are some of the most powerful elements of Angular and it just wouldn't be fair for me to go through a 30 day challenge and not try and tackle um, that particular area. So what's a directive you might ask you've probably um, if you've followed some any of the previous videos you've you've probably heard me talk about directives now and again and generally it's in reference to one of these things so i'm just going to jump over to the list customer client view um, and we'll just have a look to see if we can find some directives on this page so if i go across to ng model for example that's a directive um, and what what directives do is that they provide kind of additional um, functionality that extends or provides a bit of magic to your underlying HTML code. So directives, um, the two kind of key places that you see them, uh, one is sort of halfway through um, one of your um, one of your HTML tags. So for example, here I've got an input and it's got a whole heap of different kind of elements and one of those is this directive of ng model. Um, down here, similar kind of concept, we've got ng repeat. Um, and we've got here ng bind. So these are directives that Angular provides. The other types of directives that we can also add are directives that are actually um, change or, or add our own um, uh, HTML tags, if you like. So for example, just same way as we use a div or a button, we can actually go ahead and create our own um, directives. So Let's say, for example, that this piece of code here where we're listing out our list of customers, so I'll just jump across to our app so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, we've got our list customers. Um, so here we're, we're listing out our customers. If, for example, we wanted to use the code behind um, you know, this little portion of the customers list, you know, if we wanted to use that in uh, different pages of our app, but we only want to write the code once, um, then using a directive is a, is a really easy way to do that. So I'm going to show you um, how to actually create directives. But if, before I do that, I'll just jump across to the Angular documentation and show you where you can find out a bit more um, about directives. So we'll go to develop. So I'm just on angularjs.org. Go to develop. Go down to the developer guide. Um, and if you want to read up on you know, a little bit more about directives, um, they are really, really powerful. But they can be a little bit confusing because the syntax of how you actually write one of these isn't terribly clear um, when you're first kind of getting your head around Angular. So a typical directive um, might look sort of something, oops, um, something like something like this. So you've got sort of a directive. That's a really, really simple one. Um, but you start to get a little bit more complex as well. So uh, let's see, here's, here's another type of directive, very similar to the one that I want to create today. Um, so there's the name of the directive and it, um, it, you can determine whether you want it to be its own sort of HTML type tag or whether you want it to appear um, kind of inside one of one of the tags. And you can also refer to a template URL. So you can actually pull out pieces of code, put them into separate files, and then just go and grab them when you need them um, from different areas of your app. So it can really save you time um, and really reduce the, uh, the amount of coding you have to do if you don't have to repeat your code everywhere. Um, so for example, if you look at this directive um, for my customer, we, we have this camel case kind of thing going on with directives. So you start, start off with a lower case and you have an upper case. And what that indicates is when you want to then use that in your HTML, you would have a little dash between my and customer, but the whole directive in the HTML would always be lowercase. So I'll just show you an example. If we go to index.html, you can see here that these, this whole tag related directive, so this is its own sort of tag, it just has a little um, little dash in between the my and the customer. It's all lowercase. So let's say then that we wanted to create our own directive and we wanted to call it, um, I don't know, let's say list of customers. That would make sense. And we're going to put all the code that's sitting behind um, these elements here in our special directive. So, so jump across. We'll go to list customers client view. And here we're just going to put in our new tag. So we're going to go with uh, customers. Let's say um, it's, like it's going to be our customer list. And we've got a closing tag. So there we go. Well done. We're in our first step of creating our directive. But when I point to this, I actually want all of this code here to be displayed. So I'm just going to copy all of that. 
that list group, just copy that or cut it out. And that's all I'm going to have left, right? Um, that That's you know where, where I had all of that code before. It's just now reduced it right down because I'm using my own custom Angular directives. Now, where am I going to put that code? Well, we haven't used this view customer client view, so I'm going to put it over here. So we can get rid of everything that's in here. I can all go and I'm just going to plug in um, all of the, the code that we just copied across. So nothing special. All I've done is just pasted it in. Um, and then we're going to refer to this. Now, we want to refer to it as a template. So I'm going to rename it um, for, for us to be able to easily do that. So just go to rename. Um, and what I'm going to call that is, um, let's just say, um, customer list template, just so I've got a really clear reference of um, what I'm using. So, um, so we'll just refactor that. Do the refactor. What it's telling me is that there is a reference to this particular file in the routes, uh, and that's fine. Um, we can we can clean that up in a sec. Well, let's go and have a quick look. So in in our routes, in our config folder, in our routes, um, when the Yeoman generator went and um, created and set everything up for us, it went through and created a whole heap of routes. Now we actually don't need um, any of these because we're using modals now. So we can get rid of um, rid of all of those. So just keep a semicolon and get rid of that dot. So all we want. Um, in terms of routing is um, just the list customers client view. That's it. Everything else is going to go. Okay, so now what, what we've got left to do is to somehow hook in together this piece of code for our customer list and the code that we pulled out in our new um, customer list template. So to do that, we'll, we'll jump across to our controller and what we're going to do is create a directive and we're going to call it customer list just based on the name that um, that we'd used before. So let's go down and find a, a little place to put that into. I'm just going to um, uh, put it at the bottom of the controllers. Um, and we start, start off um, writing the directive in a similar way to um, how we would um, write one of the controllers. So I'll just jump across. Um, our server's kind of died, but let's, so it's okay. We'll kick that up again in a second. Um, so I'll just show you an example if we were running directives. So we, we start off with Angular module, just like we would normally. Um, and we know that we've kind of given our Angular module um, a bit of an alias. We've, we're now referring to that as customer app. So just copy that um, and put that in here. And uh, instead of doing dot controller, we're going to do this, um, let me make that a bit smaller so you can see it. Oops, lost that. Um, we're going to do a dot directive. So uh, bring that in so you can see it. Um, so customers up, we're going to do a dot directive. And, um, and now we're going to give it a name. Um, so similar to what I mentioned before, when we're, when we're putting in a directive name, we use camel case where the dash would go. So we go with... Um, customer and then um, uppercase list and that would indicate the dash. It's a kind of an interesting little convention. Um, now this needs to go into single quotes. So similar to how we would have our controller name, but this is our directive name. Uh, we're going to plug in a reference to a function. Function and just um, put some brackets in there to open that up and just a curly brackets on the end and drop that down. So um, now we can actually start to um, write out some parts of our directive. So similar kind of concept to what we've got over here. Um, we, we can, actually I can just grab that code just to kick this off. So paste that over here. So we've got, um, we want to return restrict E. So we're going to restrict it to being an element, which means its own um, HTML type tags. Um, what I'm also going to do is I make make a transclude and just make that true. This is just to do with um, scoping. I'm not going to go into the details of explaining transclude because it can be a little bit confusing, but just work with me here. Um, we've got template URL and template URL is actually going to refer to our actual um, HTML. So we can, if we... Um, if we've got a reference here, we can just grab this just to give us the reference back to module so I don't have to type that out. 
uh, just make sure you've got one single quotes on either side and we just need to rename that as per um, the, the the template that we're using so we just go with customer list template no HTML um, and then lastly I'm just going to throw at the bottom here a link and we're not going to put anything into this right now but we'll use it um, in the in the next uh, couple of days so just put in scope uh, we'll plug in element and we'll plug in oops a t t r s attributes as well into here so um, there's nothing going into that right now but we will put some stuff in there uh, and then last thing we just need to do is put a little semicolon on the end there okay so um, now that what we have just done is put that glue between this uh, file which is our list of customers this reference to our custom html tags so that that then uses that directive that we've added into the controller which we will move down to directives um, and it's pointing to this template here with the with the code that we've previously used now what that means is when any time we want to refer to this piece of code all we need to do is put in these tags so it's a very powerful little um, piece of code so let's let's just uh, have a look at that so I'm just going to save that um, let it restart and there's our list of customers again so um, everything should still work as it has previously so there's our modal again um, but what we've done is created our own custom set of tags um, to, to kind of apply a bit of angular magic um, to our app. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Um, well done on creating your, your first directive if it is your first. Check out uh, bossable.com for more details. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um, and I'll see you tomorrow.